only going to do it. One more time. And over and over. And then pretty soon, the leaders start to go, well, why should I bust mine? We're going to do it again anyways. And you back off. And here we go. And then the followers back off. And then you get mad because the followers back off, and you back off. And then they get mad because everybody's backing off, and they back off, and energy just goes right down like that. I mean, it's so simple, and yet people can't get it. What makes one band better than another band? has nothing to do with this stuff. I mean, you can teach, a, you can teach an ape to do this. It's this stuff. See, that's, that's the only difference. And I, and I look at, I look at like, yeah, I play this stupid drum corps activity. I go, what makes one corps better than another corps? They all got great arrangers, they all got great designers, they all got, they all got. It's how much energy they put into it. Because it, the difference between here and here or here, that's the only difference. And you can all do it. It's not what you can do or will do, it's what you do do. So, let's go back one more time. How many think there's more potential in the band that's presently showing up right now? Good. Let me ask you this. How many think there's more potential in you that's presently showing up right now? Good. Now, this is the ultimate of all stupid questions. How many of you ever had somebody ask you a stupid question? We you go to school, for God's sakes. I'm a teacher. We're always asking you dumb questions. Aren't you? You, you get a test back, you get a D, the teacher will go, is there something you don't understand? <laughs> no, no, I've got it all. I just purposely screwed this up so you could use your red pen, you idiot. Of course I don't have it all. Did you ever get caught sitting on the toilet and you thought the door was locked? You've been through that one? Somebody opens the door. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. You're naked on the throne now, right? They open the door, they'll walk in, and I swear to God, they'll go, Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I see it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm repairing a lawnmower? No, I'm naked on the toilet. What are my options on this? So, <laughs> so how many, let's go one more time. How many said there's more potential in bands presently showing up? How many think there's more potential in you that's presently showing up? And here's the ultimate stupid question. How many of you want this coming year to be the best year ever for the band? Well, who's going to say no? I mean, who's going to go, let's deteriorate this year. You know, <laughs> last year was pretty good. Let's take it right down into musical sewage. That's what we're after. How many think for the group to get better, something has to change? Appreciate your honesty. How many think what has to change is something you can purchase? No optimus? <laughs> Some girl put her hand up the other day. It was a huge group. It was like 700 kids in there. And I said, how many think what has to change is something you can purchase? He said, everybody like, you know, and this girl goes, Bum. And I said, what are you going to buy? She said, hey, Clark, how you doing? She said, all new people. <laughs> and I was like, bingo. <laughs> right? How many think what has to change are the people? Okay, let's be honest about this. How many think after our little raw raw session here today, the people that are going to change to make your group better are the ones that are at home right now? Nobody? Okay, just for kick's sake, let's say it's not there. How many think the people are going to change to make your group better are your directors and staff people and other teachers in the school, administrators, parent boosters, community leaders? Anybody want to go with that group? Who's that lead? How many of you know the human hates to change? Hate it. You hate it. You know, you go through a band director change. I bet there's kids who are upset about that. They even know who the new band director is. There's people upset. People hate to change. Okay, so what you just voted was to be uncomfortable. Okay? Now, this is one of my favorite games. I should let Clark do this. He's done it so many times. I want you to look around this group, and let me ask you a question. Has any, have you ever had a teacher get a bad first impression of you? Anybody ever had a teacher get a bad first impression? Oh, this is great. The leaders are all delinquents. <laughs> if a teacher gets a bad first impression, is it easy to change? <clears throat> no, it's really not. It's almost what? It's almost impossible. If you, if you don't remember anything else in our little time together, remember this. Positives come and go. Negatives accumulate. So if somebody gets a bad first impression, they'll, they'll keep it forever. You know, in the first grade, you push somebody out of the way to get the water fountain. As a senior, that teacher is still talking about that. But, but the other side of it is, is that you, as a leadership group, has some real potential to make a difference if you go the other way with it. Supposedly, if you break down any band, it's going to break down about like this, or football team, or whatever. About 10% of the band are positive leaders. There's about 10% of that group, and most of you are probably in here, that'll do anything those people ask of you. If I, you know, you know, Brian says, let's go out and lick the parking lot, there'll be some kid that'll be out there going, because they think it's the right thing to do. I don't worry about these people. 80% of the band has followers. That's just one's way to go. What are we going to do? Which way are we going to go? We're going to put energy in this, we're going to back off today. We're going to be like, this is so stupid. Or we're going to be like, oh, this is wonderful, you know. 
They're bust. That's the way they're going to go. So, these are the ones we need to be concerned about. Then you have this 10% down here. They're negative leaders. If everybody says yes, they'll say what? No. no. Everybody says white, they say. White. Everybody says hot, they say. Cold. Everybody says I love it, they say. I hate it. They'll always go cross grain. You know why? It gets tremendous attention. Do you have the kid in the band that every time somebody says something, like if, like if one of the directors says something, this child automatically has to make a comment? Do you have that kid? Right. And you know why? Because it always gets attention. And it works every time. Now, the problem with band is, if we stop for it, we stop the whole band. Who said they play sports in here? Yeah, they don't stop the game if you guys don't have a good day. They, there's a whole bench down there, in fact, hoping you'll have a bad day. Right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Jamie broke his leg. Yay, I'm in. You know, that's it. Because these people can't get in. Band? No. We'll take everybody. You create smoke on a mirror under your nose. We'll find a place for you, band. So here's the band out here, right? Here you are. Where does your eye go? It goes right there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That kid now controls it. Now you're going to have to do it again. We finally got through the first drill without killing another human, and we went down. And Brian goes, that's not bad, except for Jimmy. So let's all do it again. And we think, why didn't Jimmy do it again? We did fine. So everybody gets upset at Jimmy, and my thing is, those two people didn't say a word to me. They didn't even try to help me. They just left me stranded out there. So let's go back to this. The band is on a vertex, on a teeter-totter. Whichever one of these two groups is most powerful, positive leaders or negative leaders, whichever one's most powerful will start to tip the group, and the 80% will run that direction. They're always going to go with the loudest voice. Do you have the kid in the band that doesn't come in on the downbeat? that waits about two minutes before he or she starts playing? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah, do you have the kid that doesn't step off when everybody else does and they kind of wait and gurgle in like that? When everybody goes, halt, they're still Mark and telling a little bit more. Okay. That's this group. Now, which is usually the most powerful, positive or negative? Yeah. Negative. You have rules in the school that make no sense at all? Every school has stupid rules. Here's a stupid rule. You can't go to the bathroom without a pass. Sure, of course you can. You can go right over there and go to the bathroom if you want to. <laughs> right? You do not need a pass. You do not need somebody to sign their name for your bladder to work. Let's just be honest about it. But the reason the rule exists is because at one time, some kid in the history of school could not go from a classroom to a bathroom back. So now you're all subject to the rule. It's one of these people right here. Anybody ever sat in class and have to go to the bathroom, but you didn't want to have to go up and stand and beg for a pass, so you just sit there in misery? I'm interested. How many have ever done it? Yeah. Well, that's great. See, nobody wants to admit it. Everybody goes sitting there and like, ah, ah. Now, see, if you just looked up, that would have been the wreck. And see, what you can't do if you're a leader is after the wreck, pull your friend's face out of the windshield and say, you know, I'm sorry that your face will be scarred for life. I wasn't paying attention. Next time I will. No, it's gone. Man. You ever had anybody quit, man? They quit because they hated music, yes or no? No, it rarely has anything to do with music. What they quit for is because the benefits of being over here outweigh the benefits of being here. Check your eyes. Did you just look up again? That's it. You sure you want to be a leader? Would it not be more fun just to sit on the edge and make fun of the people who are doing it? So here's what I'm going to do. I want you to look around the room and get your first impression of these leaders. Now understand, this is what the freshman's going to see when he or she walks in for the first time and they get it. Okay? This is, this is my favorite games. Ten to one. Okay, five's the average. On a one to ten scale, on first impression, whatever your criteria is, what would you give the group? Are you in this great? You're all leaders, and nobody said. Thank you. No, no, it's too late now. The deer has run by. <laughs> you go, look, a deer! <laughs> Bang! No, the deer's over here now. See, that's what it's what none of us want to say because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or what if I'm wrong or I don't care what your number is. Just give me a number. One to ten. Say. Seven. Real loud. Seven. Now, if you didn't say, and you're a leader, you can bet the rest of the people in your group didn't say. See, the train won't go any faster than the engine. So you're determining the lives of a lot of people. That's why I always like it. God, I went through this for years. I always like it when the teachers go, we're preparing you for. We're not preparing you for anything. You're in it right now. Where's my going to be seniors this year? Remember when you were in the second grade and thought you would never be a senior? Well, it's here, isn't it?
Don't you, don't you remember when you were a freshman, first walked into school and went, big, <laughs> lots of hallways. Where's the bathrooms? Because <laughs> bathrooms, you know, that's important, right? Sophomores are like, big, but I know where the bathrooms are this year, right? The, ju the juniors are like, full puberty. That doesn't make any difference where the bathrooms are. <laughs> the 